Let's say you find yourself jamming with a highly seasoned fellow guitar player, or a session drummer, a touring bassist, a concert oboist, any and all of them. You want to guess what they'll notice first? Your boutique overdrive pedal, correct, because it is shiny. Nope, that doesn't sound right. It's your pick guard. Now, wait, I got it. It's your sense of timing, your ability to play in the pocket and hold a groove, or not. So let's talk about it. First, let's dive on in with a rhythm warm-up. I'm about to start a drum loop that plays for a while, then drops out to silence randomly. My job, our job, is simple. We just gotta be able to count to four. Sorry, alien. Huh. Let's warm up together, and you can do this part without a guitar. Not the tally. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Keep counting. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Even when the beat drops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Even when someone is trying to be distracting. One, two, three, four. Someone comes in and interrupts you. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now just the one. 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 Try to hit the one, two, three, one. One. I was early there. One. One. Two. Three. Four. It's getting harder. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Big silence. One. Two. Three. Pretty good. One. Two. One. Oh, I was so early. Yay! Okay. All right. That'll happen. Mistakes. Mistakes are more than just a Essential. Great, now we're ready to up the ante a bit. I've got this little song I've made, it's in B minor, and the drums drop out in some pretty random places. Not only that, but the gaps get bigger. So it'll challenge me to keep feeling the groove internally. And that's what we're here for. And that's a picture of me and Vic Wooten after I opened for him last summer, and I got a chance to thank him for teaching me the game that I'm about to teach you. Yay! This song has two sections, and here's an overview of the guitar parts. <laughs> Notice that it's a repeating picking pattern, and that way I can just concentrate on the timing. Here's a trick that helps a ton, vocalize the pattern. And it does not matter if you are a singer or a beatboxer, but kudos if you are. Using your voice will help you feel the phrase better, so do it. scooby da boop scooby scooby da boop scrub a doob doob That trick also helps you re-find your place if you lose your spot in the groove because you're singing the riff in your head. Okay, so same idea goes for the second section. It's different chords, but it's still a repeating picking pattern. And it's not stairway. But it kind of, I know, I know. Keep that puppy as steady as can be. Oh, and if you could give the like button a little Jimmy chord, it really helps the channel. Thank you. You ready? Let's do this. Hey, Bill. It's sure as heck not. Hey, it's not. What am I supposed to do with 
hot dogging as well. This I'm is. totally not hot dogging. Boomer Bill, how the heck are you? Well, I'd be a hell of a lot better if you showed me some good old pentatonic A minor. Instead, you got me lost digging around in the dark. Like, like, like A minor? Oh, are you trying to get smart with me, young blood? Bill, relax, and I'm not young. I think you are ready for this. It's super fun, and you just got to play by feel. See, I play by feel, but this, this is more like, th- like music. Th- Are you okay, Bill? It's, it's, it's like music. Th- oh, music theory. <laughs> Look, I get it. Theory can be confusing and dry. But I want to prove to you that when I teach you one new bite-sized concept at a time, and we use it right away in a real song, then it gets in your bloodstream and the knowledge actually sticks with you. That's how I built my new course over at GuitarFriendTim.com. In fact, this very song we're playing today is the focus of a new lesson pack entitled Groovy Gaps. And we expand it into three skill levels that gradually gives you more licks and tricks to keep it interesting. 36 videos, over eight hours of content, dozens of MP3 and PDF downloads, with more always on the way. The members community is full of good vibes, encouragement from other players, and exclusive content and giveaways. So after this video, click the link in the description and thank you. So the next time you're in a music store, try this. Grab a guitar off the wall, plug it in, and just play a simple groove. No noodles. No noodles. Just loop a riff. Don't waver and hold steady time. I'm willing to bet it'll have a different effect on the people around you. And with that groove in your heart, something magical might just happen. Hey, that's a pretty cool pick card. Oh, thanks, Bill. I met David Gilmore once in Pink Floyd. That's neat. That was in the Orlando airport by the Sonoro. He was cool. I bet he was, Bill. I bet he was. 